An excerpt from the Journal of Gallica, elect of the Divine Present, chief emissary of Stel Nideo, verse of the Holy Church, of received asterism, and anodyne of all divinity in this, the 1423rd year of its perfect millennium. Could you hazard a guess as to why I first dreamt of being your elect present? As a little girl, I wanted nothing more than to see the stars. I knew by then, of course, that we had written the same constellations across all the skies of all our worlds, but even still I wanted what only you and your elect can have, to spend the morning commanding warships in the pulsar light of a neutron star, to lunch at the furthest tip of divinity's reach, to compromise an enemy asset in some evening marketplace on partisan, and to retire to the comfort of a world mapped only by us. What is better than to be anywhere you want in just a moment? Well, now that I've held the title for a dozen years, I can say, perhaps to not have such responsibility at all. Divinity's eyes are on us present, and they should be. Ours is the only famous visage that anyone in the Principality might truly believe they'd have the chance to see. That gives us access, and access lets us do our work. But in time, those glances of affection may turn into fearful consideration. If we could be anywhere, then why do we go where we go? Which disasters might we let strike? These are old questions, I know, but in truth, there are some even I cannot shake. Where were you, present, when Stel Nadeo needed you most? Three thousand years ago, when everything turned. What were you doing when Perennial struck the galactic core?